Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl in your face while you're sleeping. Since the mid-90s, the world has been hopelessly in love with Pokemon, and this love has further been ignited in a new generation of kids since the release of the popular app Pokemon Go. But did you know that there are Pokemon out there that are not just the figment of the writer's imaginations, but real-life Pokemon based on actual animals? With that being said, let's take a look at 10 Pokemon based on real-life animals. Number 10. Crocodile. This one is so obvious, right? Crocodile is actually based upon a crocodilian species known as Gariol. The creature has a somewhat similar appearance to a crocodile or alligator, with the only exception being that it has an even longer and more slender snout that could do some major damage. This snout is the most characteristic feature of the Gariol, which lives in northern India. The long and skinny snout of this creature makes it more advantageous in the water, so this is where the Gariol is most deadly. On the other hand, Crocodile is a burrowing Pokemon that uses an immediate or moxie attack on its enemies. Reminiscent of the scaly skin of a Gariol, the Crocodile has spines on its back, and it is number 553. Number 9. Mudkip. Brock had a Mudkip, which was kind of interesting because Mudkip is so cute and adorable. This Pokemon is light blue with orange pointy cheeks and a sweet looking face. Mudkip is a water type and loves to use its torrid power against enemies. Honestly, it just looks like a glorious little blob that you could cuddle with even if it weren't all wet. The creature that inspired the creation of Mudkip is an axolotl, a Mexican salamander that is also very cute. It never evolves or matures into adulthood, which makes sense when you consider that Mudkip always stays delicate and small. The axolotl has thin limbs and lidless eyes, and is a rare breed, and it's only found in two lakes in Mexico. So if you want to find one, good luck. Moreover, these creatures are endangered, so they need all the protection that they can get. Number 8. Emolga. Emolga is sort of special because this electric Pokemon doesn't evolve. Can you guess what this fun creature is based on? A flying squirrel. Both Emolga and flying squirrels have flaps or membranes beneath their arms, which enable them to glide and soar through the air. Yet, while Emolga makes cute sounds while gliding, a flying squirrel doesn't. Emolga is very small and would make a great companion on your shoulder or in your backpack. He also made a short cameo appearance in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS. A flying squirrel is obviously not as likely to make a good house pet, but it is a popular animal to have stuffed and displayed in a taxidermy collection. Another interesting tidbit is that it is believed that the flying squirrel had evolved over the years, whereas Emolga doesn't evolve at all. Number 7. Trubish. Number 567 in the Pokemon series was Trubish, and maybe the creators were running out of inspiration because this creature is based on something that is probably in your house, right now. It's a bag of rubbish or garbage. Yep. Trubbish. Rubbish. Make sense now? Still, you have to admit that this Pokemon is much cuter than a bag of trash. Trubish is a poison type, and he uses the stench or stinky at hold attack on his enemies. Weighing in at over 60 pounds, Trubish would be able to rival your heftiest pile of garbage. If you look closely at Trubish, you can see that its ears are meant to resemble the tied ends of a bag of rubbish. Trubish has big wide eyes that stare blankly, and a row of sharp teeth that stick out of its mouth. It's strangely charming. Number 6. Magikarp. The Magikarp gets a bad rap. Sure, it takes dozens upon dozens of them to evolve into the mighty Gyarados, but it is so worth it when it happens. Even so, while you have a Magikarp, don't expect it to do much. It's basically a useless Pokemon. It just flops there like, well, a fish out of water. Magikarp will just flop or lie there and look at you with wide, empty eyes. In a way, it's kind of cute, but at the end of the day, you want that Magikarp to be a Gyarados. Anyway, the Magikarp can be found in real life, sort of. This Pokemon is based on the Yellow Rockfish, which is almost a twin version of Magikarp. Also known as a Red Snapper, the Yellow Rockfish has a similar body structure to Magikarp and can live to be over 100 years old. You can find these fish chilling out all around the East Pacific Ocean, although they are bottom feeders, so good luck spotting one. Number 5. Vileplume. As the name suggests, the Vile Plume Pokemon is a poison and grass type. It closely resembles a plant called the Raphelsia arnoldi, 
also known as the corpse flower. This is one plant that you wouldn't want to be face to face with. Its main characteristic is emitting a stench that smells just like rotting human flesh. The nasty scent helps to attract insects that land on the plant, which then noshes on the bugs. Now that's vile. We much prefer the Pokemon, which is smiley, cute, and walks on two legs. Its heavy flowers resemble those of the corpse plant and are so heavy that they almost knock the poor little vile bloom onto its bottom. The people behind Pokemon definitely did a good job making this plant sweet. Number 4. Caterpie Caterpie is one of the most adorable Pokemon in the series. It usually defends itself with its shield dust or just runs away. You can probably guess that Caterpie is based on a caterpillar, but do you know which one? There is more than one type of caterpillar out there, you know? Caterpie is actually supposed to be inspired by a swallowtail caterpillar, which looks very similar to the Pokemon. It's a green species of caterpillar with a thick body and the same orange V-shaped antenna on its head as Caterpie. Both the Swallowtail and the Pokemon have those instantly recognizable black spots on their heads. They're actually not eyes, but markings. If you want to see the real-life Swallowtail caterpillar, you can find one in North America. This species evolves into the Swallowtail butterfly, and is even the state butterfly of New Jersey and Oklahoma. Number 3. Levani. Levani is the 541st Pokemon in the series. As you would expect from the name, Levani is in the shape of a leaf. It was inspired by pretty spring leaves, but also by bugs and praying mantises. Did you know that it is illegal to kill a praying mantis? If you see one, you better just capture it in a net and set it free to the wild. They're in danger. Anyway, the mantises that closely resemble leaves have earned the obvious nickname, Walking Leaves, and they are mostly found in Australia and Southern Asia. Just like the Levani Pokemon, these mantises have what look like bite marks on them to fool predators and work as camouflage. Now that's a smart and natural design. As for the Levani Pokemon, it is a bug and grass type that uses swarm and chlorophyll attacks. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. This Pokemon right here is Mudkip, based on the Axolotl Salamander. Honestly, when you see them side by side, you can clearly see where the creators of Pokemon get their inspiration from. Number 2. Stunfisk The Stunfisk Pokemon is a ground and electric type that uses a trap attack on its enemies. Stunfisk sort of just looks like a blob or a sad looking slice of honey baked ham. It was introduced in Generation 5, and in case you didn't notice, the Stunfisk has an upside down exclamation point on its back. It may seem difficult to imagine, but the Stunfisk is actually based on a real-life animal, the Stargazer Fish. Both the real fish and the Pokemon have the same mouth and eyes on top of their heads. Besides its humongous head, the Stargazer Fish has a large mouth that tilts upward to help it eat. The Stargazer Fish are actually poisonous. It has little spines on its fins that secrete venom that can hurt other sea creatures. Even so, the Stargazer Fish is considered a culinary delicacy in some parts of the world. Number 1. Pikachu As the face of the Pokemon series, he has been the most popular Pokemon throughout the 20 years that Pokemon has been on air. Pikachu is Ash's trusted sidekick and is always there to help the gang get through thick and thin. Pikachu's signature is his lightning bolt attack, which is charged up in his big rosy cheeks. And of course, there is that iconic yell of Pikachu. This mousy Pokemon was inspired by a real-life mousy animal, the Pika Mouse. There are actually 23 species of the Pika Mouse, which is tiny and cute and somewhat resembles Pikachu. You can find a Pika Mouse hidden in the mountains of Tibet and China, but these animals are super rare. In fact, there are only 1,000 worldwide in the wild. And just like Pikachu, Pika Mice also make a high-pitched sound that is squeaky and sweet. And with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. So, which one of these real-life adaptions of Pokemon have you seen in real life? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to smash that like button and click that notification bell to get more enriching content.